Coming to you live from the campus of the Gilman School, located in Roland Park on the outskirts of Baltimore. Welcome to the 2024 Kelly Benefits MIAA Game of the Week. Today's matchup features the Gilman Greyhounds hosting the Cavaliers of Archbishop Spalding High School. Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Don Zimmerman, and along with Hall of Fame coach Bob Shriver, coach, Beautiful day to play, and we got a great one on store for the viewers. We got a great matchup. Archbishop Spalding is a junior dominated team with loads of talent. Gilman, on the other hand, has got more seniors. They are also equally talented. We'll see what gives. How about a player to watch from Spalding? Senior midfielder, Jamison Kaufman, captain of the team, headed to UMBC, just came off a championship football season playing for the Cavaliers. This kid's a stud. And how about for the Greyhounds? Number one senior attackman, Jay Wilkerson, also going to uh, college, gonna play at Providence. He's Gilman's leading scorer and also a football player, played middle linebacker for the Greyhounds this fall. Should be a great game. Thanks, Coach. We'll be right back with today's Toyota starting lineups. IAA Lacrosse Game of the Week. Sheehy Lexus of Annapolis, your Baltimore Annapolis Lexus dealers. CFG Bank, revolutionizing the banking experience. Advanced Radiology, trusted by more doctors, preferred by more patients. Toyota, let's go places. Five Star, connecting creators, athletes, and the best sports highlights. And Crabs Lacrosse, locally grown, nationally known. We're here with the Toyota starting lineups. Coach, let's take a look at them. Brought to you by Toyota. All right, let's start with the Archbishop Spalding attack. Number four, Brady Mollett. Number 14, Joey Matassa. And number 55, Grady Swiderski. In the midfield, number two, Ben Duffy. Number three, Jake Wolf. And number seven, Connor Wilburn. On defense, number 22, Dylan Newell. Number 33, Brock La Rochelle. And number 77, Grayson Dunn. And in the goal, number 29, Jacob Newman. And how about those Greyhounds? Greyhound attack. Number one, Captain Jay Wilkerson. Number two, Captain Mike Maloney. Number 41, Clayton Badley. In the midfield, number three, Griffin Graham. Number five, James Myers. And number nine, Jay Rogers. On the defense, number six, Dixon Pollard. Number 11, and Captain Brooks Kitchell. And number 12, George Guyton. And in the goal for the Greyhounds, number zero, Zachary Parks. Got a great day to play here at Gilman. Two teams that are really in the hunt for the uh, you know, first place in the MIAA conference today is a big one. Watch both teams warm up, they're excited. A lot of chatter. Spalding comes in at six and three overall, one and one in conference. Gilman, six and two overall. Undefeated at 1-0 in conference play. Facing off for Gilman is number 13, Joe Kim. He's a sophomore, also plays football. And for um, Spalding is number six, Ryan Criswell. He's a junior. He'll be going to Navy to play for Coach Joe Amplo. Early shot that time. That was number one, Robbie Hooper. Got good size, 27 ground balls, 17 calls, turnovers. He's a junior. He's going to Virginia. Coach Tiffany's getting a good one in Hooper. All right, here we go. Little pick action out front. Good shot from the outside. That was Connor Wilbur. Nice save that time. Zachary Parks comes up with that early save, Coach. Always good to have your goalie get one early. Well, one thing we've seen to start this game, Gilman double pulled that opening face off and on one wing, 
was senior, excuse me, junior, outstanding player for the Gilman Greyhounds, Harrison Schlein, who has not played lacrosse one play this year. He was hurt at the end of his basketball season, and this is his first game back. That's a big boost for Gilman. Sure is. Okay, we got the first midfield from Gilman. This is Jay Rogers. Wants his left hand overhand shot just wide. 38 seconds left on the shot clock. We're just getting started here in Roland Park. This is Badley. To Wilkerson out front. Griffin Graham. Nice check that time by Hooper. Good pressure defense by the Cavaliers. That'll be out of bounds on Gilman. Cavaliers ball, fresh 80. Change of possession results in an 80 second shot clock. When the shot clock hits 60, you must have the ball in your offensive half of the field. Okay, here we go, back on offense for the Cavaliers. This is Mollett with the ball to Wilbur. They're in a circle. This is Jake Wolf. He's a junior. He'll be going to Delaware, play for Coach DeLuca. Turnover that time. Both offenses seem to be a little shaky early on, but in the game this, with this magnitude, you're going to find that. They've got to work their way into the game. Nice clear that time by Gilman. Well, one thing that with was the Matthew look, Fiola. Sorry, one thing to look for, Gilman's offense, they want to develop matchups that they're comfortable with. They, they scout teams very hard. They try to pick out what's a good matchup they perceive as a good matchup and attack it. This is the first midfield again. Rogers prefers his left hand behind the goal. Nice defense that time. Clayton Badley holds one to the ball. Gilman's moving the ball around nicely. This is Wilkerson. Good check that time. That was Grayson Dunn on defense. They're going to call that a loose ball push. That will be a reset on the shot clock to 60 seconds. Second chance opportunity for Gilman. That was Mike Maloney with the outside shot. This is Badley. Gets underneath. Oh, nice save that time. Jacob Newman, the junior, has got a 55% save percentage. He'll be going to Mercer to play for Coach Ryan Danahy. Real nice save there. Also 13 ground balls. He can operate outside the cage. One thing to look for with Spalding, they substitute extremely well, I think. They take advantage of the substitution game. They'll try to, you know, maybe get somebody trapped at the midline and see if they can't get underneath them. Okay, here's a midfield unit. You got Ostrowski on the game, number 23. Gordon Bennett, number 34. And you'll see over on the far right side here, defensive midi Jamison Kaufman is just hanging out there, willing to play five on five. That was Landon Alderman. He's a junior, good size lefty. This is Bennett. Tries to get underneath and scores. Let's see if it's going to count. He called me, landed in the goal mouth. Now, for you that don't know the uh, the goal mouth situation, we've always had the crease inside the crease as a goal mouth. An offensive player can never go in the goal mouth unless forced in there by a defenseman illegally. So that goal does not count. 7.30 left in the first period. Plenty of time on the shot clock now for the Greyhounds to go to work. Sticking with that first midfield. This is Wilkerson. To James Meyer. Nice switch by Cavaliers there. Badly with the ball behind, likes his left hand. Being guarded by Brock LaRochelle. Good size defenseman. He's a junior, he's committed to the Naval Academy. Shot wide. That was James Meyer, senior. Great back up by number 33. You just talked about Brock LaRochelle. Beat them to the end line. Beautiful. Good looking athlete. 
Cavaliers love to push the ball, especially when number one defensive long stick, Robbie Hooper, an outstanding player, as you mentioned earlier, headed to the University of Virginia. Well, we've got another midfield unit in here now. We've got Jake Wolf, Jack Newell, Connor Wilbur. A little isolate behind the goal, just wide. 41 seconds left on the shot clock. Could have come up that field a little further, maybe one more step and tried to turn a little bit inside to improve his angle that time. The invert forces the defense to turn their backs on the outside shooters. It's a nice, nice ploy. Good stick. Spalding. Number 12 for Gilman, nice stick. George Guyton, senior headed to Notre Dame. That'll be off Gilman. 6.01 left in the first. We're scoreless on the campus of Gilman School, located in beautiful Roland Park, outside of Baltimore. Great day to play. Gilman in a little bit of a drop back ride. Spalding now with the ball. This is Wolf. Oh, nice ground ball pick up that time. That was George Guyton. He's a senior. He'll be going to Notre Dame. Also plays soccer. He's a two-year captain. Gilman has a, many two-sport athletes, both schools, two-sport athletes. If you're a young player, play as many sports as you can. Lacrosse is a hybrid sport, so if you're playing soccer, you're going to get something out of it. That'll improve your lacrosse game. Football, same thing. Wrestling, you name it. Play the sports while you can. This is Jay Rogers. Big left-hander. Backing it on. There's a terrific slide. Well-timed. That was Sawyer Grant. And that slide for the Cavaliers. There's a shot. Nice save. Jacob Newman had it all the way. I like how the offensive players are shooting that bounce shot on this natural turf field, coach. Very quick to slide the Cavaliers are. Oh, gets inside. Just doesn't finish. Well, one thing we, uh, we saw offensive coordinator Owen Daly before the game for Gilman, he talked about how nice it is is to have some lefties. Jay Rogers, number nine, a lefty. Number five, James Myers is a lefty. 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Short time here for the Greyhounds. Shot wide. Five seconds left on the shot clock. 4.10 left in the first period. We're scoreless. Gilman bring in their offensive players out. They'll probably just dump it into the quarter. Nice defensive stance that time by Spalding. Quick whistle. Spalding now attempting to clear the ball. They've had a little bit of trouble. Gilman just back in the 3-3 zone ride. Good patience that time, good clear for the Cavaliers. They go to work on offense. 3.45 left in the first, plenty of time on the shot clock. This is Mollett. Grady's Radurski. He's a junior. He'll be going to Bucknell. Successful yeah. clear by the Greyhounds. Plenty of time on the shot clock. I talked about two of the lefties. Number one, Jay Wilkerson, Gilman's leading scorer, is also a big, strong left-hander. This is Myers. Being played by Jamison Kaufman. He'll be going to UMBC, playing for Coach Ryan Moran, also a football player. Another multi-sport athlete here at Gilman. Oh, good double that time. That was Robbie Hopper trying to get from behind. Shot out of bounds, 39 seconds left on the shot clock. 
2.43 left in the first period. Spalding defense has some size. Robbie Hopper that time with a nice slide. Guy turned his back and he jumped him. Clayton Badley up front. There's Wilkerson, shot wide. Got to put the shots on the six by six. 28 left in the shot clock. Rogers with an outsider. Easy save that time. Jacob Newman had it all the way. Spalding coming back on a four on three. They got numbers, nice dish off. Oh, good job by, they keep it alive. Oh, opportunity lost there for the Cavaliers. Great Never play slide. by goaltender Newman. Newman's doing it all again. Effective out of the goal. This is a pure four on three now. Let's see what happens. Dumps it to the left-hander. Comes around and he scores. Joey Matassa, the junior. Puts Archbishop Spalding up. One nothing. Let's take a look. Beautiful, unsettled. Swiderski with a nice, sorry, Matassa with a nice. We'll be back. One nothing, Spalding. For everyone who's endured the bad seat, finally. Sweet, sweet redemption. The Lexus TX. Three-row luxury that treats every seat like the best seat. We're back. We're back. Let's take a look at that again. It starts with the defense. Great save that time. Newman stepped into that passing lane, throws a nice outlet pass up over the top to number 24 for the Cavaliers. Watch this bad approach by the Gilman defender. Swiderski, excuse me, Matassa took advantage of that. Got it past goaltender Parks. Yep, got to make sure that on those slides, you have a good slide angle, right? You want to slide to where the man's going to be, not where he is, because he's not going to be where he is when you get there, right? Correct. A little bit of a head start anticipation. All right, here we go with the face off again. Again, for uh, Spalding, this Chriswell. And for Gilman, Kim. No possession yet. Oh, that time, nice job by Kim, staying with it. Picking up the ground ball. He's got 69 on the season, make that 70. 66% face-off percentage. That's outstanding. Number one, Wilkerson looks like the middle linebacker that he is. <laughs> Good Powerful. size athlete. Yep. Very strong looking from uh, our vantage point. All right, this is Griffin Graham. Gets underneath and scores. Griffin Graham, the junior, ties it at one with 108 left in the first period. Beautiful unassisted goal by Graham. Gives him a little face dodge and then he rolls back, faces again, gets his hands free, throws it in a beautiful spot for Gilman's first tally. We got a good face-off battle going on here between number six, Chris Well, and number 13, Kim. Both outstanding percentages winning the ball for their teams. This is Kim, he's got it pushed out for a fast break. He's gonna take it, oh, easy save. He'd like to have that one back. Boy, if you don't have a real good shot, give it to your attack, let them do their job. You did yours. Let them do theirs. All right, here we go. Spawning attempting to clear the ball. Good long look up the field. Robbie Hopper wide open. Gives it off to Jake Wolf. 60 seconds left on the shot clock, but that is not a factor. 35 seconds left in the first period. Spawning will most likely work for the last shot. Again, they've gone to the invert. This forces that defense to turn their backs on the out front shooters. 
There's that slide, and there's the dish. Oh, good cut inside. Just missed. Under 10. Gilman has a chance. Oh, good look in there. That's a nice play. And that'll do it. That'll do it for the end of the first quarter. We're tied at one. Good back and forth action. Defense has played well. Plenty of action there. Goalies are making some nice saves. Like to see the shooters use that grass for a little bit. Let that ball warp for them. in the way sports highlights are created and exchanged. A platform meticulously designed to break down barriers and bring athletes and creators together. Imagine, athletes, a world where your own highlight reel is right at your fingertips, collected, curated, and accessible in near real time. This isn't just a highlight, it's your legacy. We've supercharged the process. No more sifting through endless content. Search, find, own, and share your moments easier, faster, and safer than ever. And for our creators, this isn't just about filming sports. It's about redefining how sports are experienced and exchanged. Your lens becomes the eyes for millions, shaping legacies and defining careers. Speed doesn't compromise security here. Five Star uses state-of-the-art encryption, ensuring a trusted space for both buyers and sellers. Don't just be part of the future, shape it. Join the Five Star Revolution now and redefine how the world experiences sports. Started the second quarter, all tied up, one to one. Don Zimmerman with Bob Schreiber calling all the action. A little bit of an up and down game. I think the teams are really just starting to settle in, coach, and, and get a feel for uh, for one another. Well, I like the pace of the game. It's been a little bit, uh, you know, not the prettiest action, but the pace is good. They'll settle down and uh, start completing some of these passes, not turning the ball over quite as much. Tied at one. Newell out front. Jake Wolf. Gilman slow to slide. Look, good look inside. Oh, and a terrific save. Little push there. Great save by Parks. On the doorstep was Swiderski. Parks was up to the challenge. That's a reset on the 60 cent shot clock. We're all set. Referees want to make sure they get it right. This is Malat behind the goal. Just a sophomore, Spalding's leading scorer. Little pick and roll action with Wolf. Good off ball movement by the Cavaliers. That's Wilbur. Good defense that time by Sebastian Cheney. He's a senior. He's going to Muhlenberg to play football, so you know he's a heck of an athlete. Good defense that time by Dixon Pollard, another football player, a junior. That's Harrison Schlein. Gilman's pushing the ball. Good time, now yeah, Coach Hockle didn't like what he was seeing out there. I don't think they were back at sufficiently on the defensive end. 
We will be right back. Score is one to one. Kelly Benefits helps employers and employees save time, money, and hassle in navigating the intricacies of insurance, benefits, and payroll challenges. Kelly Benefits is pleased to be a sponsor of the MIAA Championships. Visit kellybenefits.com to put our people, technology, and solutions to work for you. We're back, Spalding one, Gilman one. 10.29 left in the second period. Coach, good pace. A lot of action up and down the field. There's Coach Evan Hockle. This is his ninth year working at Spalding. He was a head JV coach for four, assistant varsity for four, and now this is his first year at the helm. I agree, that was a good timeout by Coach Hockle. He uh, didn't have his personnel on the field. Quick restarts now really put them in a disadvantage so good timeout you get two per half just like NCAA what I love about the MIAA is they use NCAA rules really helps prepare these players to get to the next level Graham now on, on the wing dodge good defense by Brody Moss this is Wilkerson. That was Grayson Dunn playing him. Junior's going to Delaware. Oh, good trail check that time by that, Hopper. That's uh, defender Brock LaRoche with his third backup on a Gilman shot. Really heads up. Uh, Spalding's made a... Uh, a tradition of having defenders that will get to the end line on shots. They've been doing it for years and doing it extremely well. Good anticipation. Gilman's got to do a better job of staying balanced. Oh, good look inside and score. That was Joey Matassa, wide open on the backside. Well, what you'll see here, Coach Zimmerman, is Gilman is guilty of sliding to somebody's eyes. Watch this man coming across the crease, number 11. He's got nobody to cover backside for him, and he slid to uh, Mullot's uh, eyes. Pretty easy feed across the crease. Nice goal. Two to one Spalding, 9.37 left in the half. Got to get that second slide down the backside. Okay, here we go with our face-off, guys. Doing a good job battling. I love the three-on-three -three game. With that ball popping out now, it's a three-on-three -three game, and a lot of exciting things can happen on the face-off. That was number eight, picking up that ground ball. Yeah, under. Cheney Sebastian. He's done a nice job on the wings. Good look. Oh. Just a little off target. Ball still alive. You can't play the ball out of bounds. Still a Newell came up with the ground ball there. Yeah, those ground balls on the uh, sidelines and the end lines, they're tough. Jameson Kaufman is a defensive midi, but I've, I've watched the replay of the Spalding boys Latin game last week. They got he, numbers coming in, Coach. Sorry, excuse me. Offsides, offsides, Spalding. Go ahead, Coach, finish your thought. Well, just uh, the point being, excuse me, that... Sorry. Let's watch this clear here for a second. Got the cross field look. It's a nice look on that cross field pass. Uh, Boy, he had the man open. You got to give the ball off your defenseman. Again, know your job. Good clear, good cross field pass. We had something, you had a midi open, give him the ball. All right, that time there was some confusion. Offsides, that's a turnover. All right, just back to Jace, Jameson Kaufman a little bit, number zero, who's the defensive midi, but he loves to stay on the field and push the ball in transition, and he will stay on the field and take the ball to the goal. You can see why, it's just a really good, strong looking athlete and probably would have an offensive midi in there trying to play him. That's a good matchup.
for the Cavaliers. All right, here we go on offense. Like the way Spalding's starting to move the ball. Their passes are a little bit more accurate. This is Mollett behind the goal. Swiderski on the backside. Gordon Bennett. Oh, couldn't control the ground ball. Well, let's not forget Schlein has not played one lacrosse game since the season began because he's been recovering from an injury. For Gilman, it's great having one of their better players back out on the field. Especially when you're in now the uh, MIAA a conference schedule. You've got to have your best people healthy and ready to go. Matassa. Oh, that's a kind of a force. Yeah, I think uh, Spalding's been guilty of doing that a little bit too much. You know, they make a move, they get the Gilman defense, maybe to hedge to them, and they're they're willing to throw that pass inside, but they have uh, really yet to complete one of those. Yeah, you got to be careful. You got to force it. Well, that's a good no call by the official. That was a turn. That's Hopper again. Coach Tiffany at Virginia is happy to have him coming. And there's a shot and a save. Zachary Parks and a rebound. This could be a dead ball foul. Beautiful, unsettled situation. Nice save. I think they're calling him for up in the hair. That was a good hit right there. At but they may call that up in the head as well. Well, we that's, that's an indirect uh, contact foul. It starts off not right at the head, but it starts off at the body, but then it comes up into the head. That's an indirect. This should be a one-minute penalty. Let's see if it's uh, a releasable penalty. Well, there's going to be one on each team, I believe, Coach Zimmerman. Nope, they only called nope. it on the yep. Gilman player. Yep. yep. They did not call that other foul that you thought was uh, that indirect foul against the Spalding player. Spalding gets an opportunity, extra man. Oh, interesting, interesting. Well, you know, again, uh, officials, they have to do it uh, live time. And, um, you know, I thought it was gonna go the other way, but that's why they're on the field and we're in the booth. All right, here we go. Good look inside and a finish. That was Matassa on the doorstep. Makes it three to one. Archbishop Spalding with 6.29 left in the half. Well, as you know, on extra man, the best thing to be able to do on extra man is skip it through the defense. There's Matassa for his third tally, just standing down there on the crease. Beautiful feed by number seven, Connor Wilburn. Chris Will versus Kim. We'll see this all day, two of the best. They bring Hopper up onto the wing. That's a smart move. He is a ground ball machine. Possession that time to Kim. He stays in his stick. Again, no back over and back yet. Oh, big ground ball. And a shot and a score! George Guyton, the senior, with the high bounce shot, makes it three to two with 6.13 left in the half. Beautiful, contested ground ball in the middle of the field. Guyton comes up with it and just steps in. Look at this position. Beautiful bounce shot off natural turf. Bounce right up into the corner. Yep, on this natural turf, the ball does some strange things. Love the, uh, love the overhand bounce shot there, especially a long stick. Tough to save by a goalkeeper. 3-2, 6.13 left in the half. Oh, they're going to call Chris Will early on that one. That's his first. You get two illegal procedures on the third and subsequent illegal procedures on the faceoff. It's a 30-second penalty for the opponent. Just under six. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Rogers out front. They like to work him out front. Being played by Andrew Reese, the senior. Big shooter Rogers is. Oh, goes over the head and scores! Jay Rogers ties it at three with 544. Yeah. 
Well, Rogers has shown the ability to shoot from the outside. This time he gets inside, pulls his stick away from the check by number 88. Beautiful goal. We are tied at three. Toyota is going all wheels in with fantastic deals on thousands of in-stock Toyotas ready for delivery. So visit your local dealer today for a great selection of vehicles, all with two years of no cost maintenance included. Right now, get low 3.99% APR on an adventurous RAV4 or spacious Highlander. Get fantastic deals when you go all wheels in on your new Toyota. Let's go places. Coach, uh, on that last goal, you saw something that you hate to see your defenseman do. Trying to go over somebody's head, especially down at the goal line. Could give Rogers credit. He felt that check coming. He pulled his stick back in front of his face and dropped. Watch this. A missed over the head check. Too risky where this was. Good play by Rogers, just pulling his stick. And Rogers has got good size. I mean, that, that's a tough, that's a tough uh, play uh, by anybody there. You're better off not going over the head. Just keep those feet moving. You don't play defense with the stick. You play with your feet and your legs. All right, here we go. We're tied up 3-3, 544. Left in the half. Right now, Gilman has a slight edge on the faceoffs. The last two have gone to Gilman, and they've scored two goals within about a 40-second span. Possession is so important. Gives your team a chance to score a goal. And just as important, it allows your defense to rest. Possession lacrosse is some of the best defense you can play. All right, here we go. 544 left in the half. We're all tied. Chriswell and Kim. This is Hopper going after the ground ball. Going to stay red. Did you see what Hopper did that time? He goosed that ball into the Gilman defenseman who knocked it out of bounds. They got a break. Coming down. There's Hopper with the shot. Just wide. Backed up by Gilman. Boy, again, a four on three. You know, give it up. Instead of taking the 12, 15 yarder, let your attackman try to get a layup. All right, here we go. Coming back. Plenty of time now on the shot clock. Again, any change of possession, the shot clock goes to 80. Look at LaRoche beating that guy to the end line, and he got his body down in front of it. Another brilliant play off a of Gilman shot by LaRoche. La well, Rochelle, oh, excuse me. Oh. They're going to throw a flag on that one. Let's see what they call. Going to be pushed with possession against Gilman, number five, going into the sin bin. James Myers hustling. Sometimes you hustle too hard. You know, and you make a mistake. Yeah, you can't fault to somebody for hustling. But again, you know, what I see a lot of is kids sprint for 20 yards and then they don't break down. So you waste all that energy getting there. You got to break down at about five and be ready to go uh, laterally. Uh, you know, so good hustle, but a little smarter next time. All right, here we go. Spalding with the man up just under five left in the half. 80 seconds on the change of possession shot clock. Starting in a circle, Spalding. Spalding offensive coordinator, Sean Cottle. Son to Dave Cottle, one of the most brilliant extra man coaches in the game, and I'm sure he's passed some of that wisdom on to his son. Gilman defense staying tight. Sticks in great position. They're up in the lanes. Coach Schreiber said you'd like to get that skip pass on, man. I'll keep those sticks in the lanes. Give up the adjacent. Don't give up the skip. We're all even. Good job by the Gilman man down unit. 4.15 left in the half. 38 seconds left on the shot clock. Cooper Johnson's out there. That was Gordon Bennett. Gilman ball. Again, quick whistles when the ball goes out of bounds. You cannot take a running start when the ball goes out of bounds. All right, you have to establish yourself on the field. Look at the official, raise your stick. He'll blow that whistle for you. All right, Gilman's got some numbers here. Let's see if they recognize and take advantage. 
Oh, and a backhander that time by Jay Rogers. Rogers likes to go forward whenever he gets the ball. Goes to the hoop. Oh, turnover by Gilman. Both teams, simple exchanges. Spalding just turned the ball over on a simple exchange a second ago. Gilman got possession and they did the same thing. Yeah, they gotta settle down. Just settle down, you know. Hey. And, all, and always a good rule for, for exchanging the ball between one team and another. The man with the ball, run it till you pass it. And the man receiving the ball, run it till you catch it. Turn a 20 yard pass into a 10 yard pass. All right, here we go. Back to live action. Just over three minutes left. Three to three. And look, one other point to make, Coach Zimmerman, is you want to play fast, but sometimes, you know, you play too fast. You really don't want, need to be in a hurry. Right, right. That's Newell starting the offense. And a shot. Oh, nice save again. Zachary Park saw it all the way. High to high. Change the plane of your shot. High to low, low to high. Make a tough one the goalkeeper. Good successful clear that time. Rogers on the field a lot for the Greyhounds. Well, one thing so far for Gilman, their leading scorer with the ball right now has not produced anything. He's had a couple good shots. He's missed the cage a couple times. Being hounded by Grayson Dunn. Great stick in the passing lane by Newell, number 22 for Spalding. Nice job by Wilkerson that time, picking up the ground ball, staying on it. Spalding's doing a nice job of sliding and sticks in the gloves. Best poke check in lacrosse, the poke check, the best check, poke check. Cover the gloves, control the player. That's Kaufman again. Boy, he's looking, isn't he? He's looking to take it. Timeout, Archbishop Spalding, 137 left in the half. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. We're back 3-3, three, three, 137 left in the half. Coach, we were talking about the speed both these teams are trying to play. And, you know, you want to be quick, but what's the age old ad is be quick, but don't be in a hurry. And right. I think that's cost both teams today with some, you know, untimely turnovers. Right, right. That's an old John Wooden saying, be quick, don't hurry. And, that, and you hit the nail on the head. You know, look, these kids are excited. It's a beautiful day. It's a big game. Uh, and they're kids. You know, their high school kids are good players. They, they have a lot of growth and development ahead of them. But these are the things you learn playing in the MIAA against tough competition. It prepares you for the next step. But one thing, without question, we've seen from both teams, they're getting after each other. They're aggressive on ground balls. They're playing extremely hard. They're trying to play, I think, a little bit too fast. But uh, the pace of the game has been really outstanding. But the beauty of it hadn't come yet. We've had a couple lovely plays, but uh, maybe not quite enough of them. 60 seconds on the shot clock, 134, 133 left in the half. Spalding's out of timeouts. This is Matassa. Works hard for that left hand. Good job that time on defense. Number 29 for Gilman. Nice Bowling job. Brooks. Sporting likes this matchup. Matassi, he's quick. He'll take a short stick all day long if he can. Good ball movement. Mollett. Early slide by Gilman. Good defense. Oh, it's just avoided the crease. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Got to go. And there's a shot. That's outside the net. Reset to 80. 42 seconds left in the half. Let's see what Gilman does with it. If they clear, let's see if they call a timeout. Set up a play. 
We're at 33 seconds. And there's the timeout. Timeout Gilman with 28.7 left in the half, Coach. 65 seconds on the shot clock. It is not a factor. What do you think they're going to draw up? Well, I, I mentioned we'll come back and we'll talk about it. Tied at three, 30 seconds left in the second quarter. Gilman against Archbishop Spalding. We'll be back. The FC Lacrosse Ministry is for any coach, athlete, or family of the lacrosse community who loves lacrosse and has an openness or desire to grow in his or her faith. FC Lacrosse is committed to developing three-dimensional coaches and athletes who want to fulfill the potential physically, mentally, and spiritually. Are you interested in an FCA lacrosse experience? Get engaged by going to fcalax.com. We're back, 28.7 seconds left in the half. 3-3, Gilman's ball. They just called a timeout. What do you think they got coming back, Coach? Well, Coach, in Contreras, in his fourth season at Gilman's, talking to his defense, just making sure if they lose the ball at the offensive end to be alert because obviously Spalding would attack. On the offensive end, uh, I, I think that it would be Gilman's intent to try to get Jay Wilkerson, number one, or number nine, Jay Rogers, both with big, big shooting ability. See if they can't free these guys up. Spalding's coming out, man. They have been known to play some zone this year. Here's the restart. It's Wilkerson banging the ball behind. You got Rogers now behind the goal. We've seen him out front be effective. Good defense by Hopper. Good defense that time by Spalding. Let's see if they throw one down the field. Try to get one. That's a good play. Oh, that would have gone if it gets by the goalkeeper. Flight, ball in flight. It counts, just like basketball. All right, that's the end of the first half. We're tied 3-3 three three here on the campus of Gilman School. We've had some good action, Coach, in the first half. 3-3. Three to three. We'll be back for the second half. Stay with us. Toyota is going all wheels in with fantastic deals on thousands of in-stock Toyotas ready for delivery. So visit your local dealer today for adventure-ready trucks with legendary reliability. Check out the all-new 24 Tacoma or get low 1.99 APR on a full-size Tundra. Get fantastic deals when you go all wheels in on your new Toyota. Let's go places. This is your time. We're here to help you. One thing to train up your skills. And what I'm going to arm you with today is some tools to perform in that trusting mindset. Did we just get hustled? There's no way they were 70. Interesting. Hmm. It's both an electric and a gas car. Yep. Quite the paradox. Hmm. 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 So JJ's for lunch? Hmm. Electric for short trips, gas for long. It really is both. The Lexus RX plug-in hybrid. Kelly Benefits helps employers and employees save time, money, and hassle in navigating the intricacies of insurance, benefits, and payroll challenges. Kelly Benefits is pleased to be a sponsor of the MIAA Championships. Visit kellybenefits.com to put our people, technology, and solutions to work for you. Mark Burdett, president of Blackbird Events, and along with Lineker Media, are producing this year's MIAA Game of the Week series. Welcome back, yes, and uh, glad to have you here. And, and tell us exactly what your involvement 
uh, entails. Well, we will, Coach, but first of all, how about the sunshine? Last week we were in a deluge, today we're doing great. So we're producing these games in conjunction with the MIAA, bringing them to a nationwide audience. So with the help of Lynn Acre Media, yourself, Bob Shriver, we're out to actually teach people the game. We're out to expose the brand of the MIAA and the schools and talk about the uh, great play that this, this league and these teams and these young men bring to, the, bring to the league. It's great. And it's national. And for any young lacrosse player across this country, uh, knowing the hotbed uh, that Baltimore and Maryland is, what a great opportunity for these kids to turn on, watch, yep. and learn yep. the game at a very high level. Well, I don't think we're, we're bragging too much when we say that the MIAA conference is the best high school across the country. And I think you can learn a lot if you live in Detroit or Texas or wherever you might be, not only from what they see on the game, but your, your coaching skills, how you break down the game, all the good things that go into it. So, And we have 11 schools. They all get a chance to actually be exposed on the game of the week. It's a great opportunity. Tuesdays for the most part, but, um, you know, again, what a great opportunity for kids across the country and any lacrosse fan to tune in and just see some wonderful, uh, outstanding high school lacrosse. Yeah. We'll be right back. Toyota is going all wheels in with fantastic deals on thousands of in-stock Toyotas ready for delivery. So visit your local dealer today for a great selection of front, four, and all-wheel drive vehicles. Right now, get low 4.75% APR on a sporty Camry or stylish Corolla. Get fantastic deals when you go all wheels in on your new Toyota. Let's go places. Just get hustled. There's no way they were 70. Interesting. Hmm. It's both an electric and a gas car. Yep. Quite the paradox. Hmm. 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 So JJ's for lunch? Hmm. Electric for short trips, gas for long. It really is both. The Lexus RX plug-in hybrid. Kelly Benefits helps employers and employees save time, money, and hassle in navigating the intricacies of insurance, benefits, and payroll challenges. Kelly Benefits is pleased to be a sponsor of the MIAA Championships. Visit kellybenefits.com to put our people, technology, and solutions to work for you. We're back with Mark Burdett. Blackbird events and uh, Mark, again, uh, what an opportunity to grow the game of lacrosse. Yeah, so so I'm always impressed at how ready these teams are. So they play every Tuesday and Friday right up to the actual playoffs. And they've got to turn it around, win or loss. They've got to be ready. You know, they've got to be in shape. And every team is competitive, as we saw last week with John Carroll. They hadn't won in about a year. And they come out, and they are really ready to go. So I think every one of these teams brings their best. And when they know they're going to be on – television they know that it's important to them oh they really enjoy uh, yeah. that's uh, this opportunity and it's it's really a great preparation for the next level meaning college lacrosse number one having to play quality opponents twice a week yeah and also number two the miaa plays the ncaa roles and what a great way to prepare for that next level which is really important and you'll point out today where all these young men are going to go to college and so many of them are going to go d1 d2 d3 wherever they're going to play at the highest level they're gonna be playing a competitive game and this gets them ready for that and I think that's why so many kids want to play in this league because they are ready for the next step when it comes and boy we're gonna see some great things when we get to the playoffs and the championship at Navy Marine Corps Stadium where they do play in a great D1 stadium and a great environment what a venue one of the finest venues in the country for a uh, for a high for a uh, high school or college uh, lacrosse game all right we'll be back for the start of the second half after this thanks Don Toyota 
is going all wheels in with fantastic deals on thousands of in-stock Toyotas ready for delivery. So visit your local dealer today for a great selection of vehicles, all with two years of no-cost maintenance included. Right now, get low 3.99% APR on an adventurous RAV4 or spacious Highlander. Get fantastic deals when you go all wheels in on your new Toyota. Let's go places. Five Star is a revolution in the way sports highlights are created and exchanged. A platform meticulously designed to break down barriers and bring athletes and creators together. Imagine Athletes, a world where your own highlight reel is right at your fingertips. Collected, curated, and accessible in near real time. This isn't just a highlight, it's your legacy. We've supercharged the process. No more sifting through endless content. Search, find, own, and share your moments easier, faster, and safer than ever. And for our creators, this isn't just about filming sports. It's about redefining how sports are experienced and exchanged. Your lens becomes the eyes for millions, shaping legacies and defining careers. Speed doesn't compromise security here. Five Star uses state-of-the-art encryption, ensuring a trusted space for both buyers and sellers. Don't just be part of the future, shape it. Join the five-star revolution now and redefine how the world experiences sports. We are Crabs Lacrosse. For over three decades, parents have chosen us to help their sons develop a path to becoming college lacrosse players. Crabs Lacrosse is more than a collection of teams. We are a family. At Crabs Lacrosse, we focus on being three things, always about our players, deliberate, in our development and focused on a positive experience and positive outcomes. Join us at Crabs Lacrosse. We're back uh, with some highlights and halftime stats. Well, we're gonna start off with a couple beautiful saves early. Here's Spalding goalie Newman. A couple nice crafty saves. Beautiful play by Joey Matassa for his first of three. There he is on the doorstep. Lovely feed by his running mate, Brady Molette. And then there's an extra man goal. Beautiful pass by number seven, Wilburn. Gilman comes right back. Guyton picks up a ground ball off the face off. Not 20 seconds after that goal, Gilman got another face off. And there is senior, junior Jay Rogers with a beautiful goal, tying this game at three. Three to three, started this third quarter along with Bob Schreiber, Don Zimmerman. Here are the stats. Let's look at them. Total shots. Gilman has an advantage there. Shots on goal, even. Face-off tight. We knew that. How about the calls, turnovers, Coach? Well, both teams, I think, are doing a great job sliding. Um, and as soon as somebody looks like he's uh, getting beat, these teams are coming at you. Gilman's got a lot of shots, but they missed the cage a bunch. All right, here we go. Should be a great second half. Kim, that time. Well, there's no call. Kim on the hold. Possession to Spalding. They'll have the first look on offense here in the second half. Lots of time on the shot clock. Again, change of possession. 80 seconds anywhere on the field. This is Wolf. He's gonna draw the flag. It's a slow whistle. Good passing inside. Oh, and a good job. That time the Gilman defense held tough, knowing the flag was down. Spalding's third opportunity on the extra man. They're one for one so far. Gilman is yet to have a extra man off, off offensive opportunity. 60 second shot clock, reset. Let's see what they come out in, coach. Looks like they're in a two, three, one, counting from out top, behind. A little carry play here. Again, Gilman's defense staying tight, sticks up in the lanes, not allowing the skip. They'll give up the adjacent. There's a good look inside and the one more. Oh, look at that passing. Just couldn't connect, but beautiful passing that time by the Cavalier man up unit. Nice job by defense of Gilman. 
Joey Matas is guilty that time. Of, I think he got stuck between should I shoot or pass, and he sees his man cutting in front of the goal, and he decided to pass it to him and just didn't make the connection. Well, you love the unselfish attitude there, but if you got it, take it. All right, good clear by Gilman. Meyer with the ball out top. Good job by their man down unit. All right, here we go. Jay Rogers again out top, being played by Hopper. Real good matchup here. To Wilkerson out front. That's Griffin Graham. Oh, and a behind the back. What a goal. Jay Rogers makes it four to three. Greyhounds, 10-11 left in the third quarter. Beautiful pass by Graham. Rogers gets his man, not paying attention, cuts underneath him. Nice catch. He could have turned and shot that overhand forward, or in this case, he elected for the BT Bear and blasted it right in the corner. What a nice play by the Greyhounds. That gives Gilman the first lead of the day. Oh, another good look inside. Oh, and a big save. Parks again. And now here comes going back four on three. They got numbers. There's the dish. Oh, good stick that time. Great play by number 22, Dylan, Dylan Newell. Newell. Junior got his stick up in the passing lane. Boy, that's why it's so important to have that good solid stick position. When you're playing the ball, stay in the gloves. When you're off ball, keep that stick up in the passing lanes. Nice job, fundamentally sound. Spalding back on offense. This is Wilbur. To Jack Newell out front. Jake Wolf. This is it off behind, they got him hung. 44 left on the shot clock, plenty of time. Let's see what Spalding can get out of this. This is where I think that coaches should get a basketball book and look up end line out of bounds plays. But there's gonna be a flag there to call interference, I believe, on the cutter. I actually think what he might end up calling coach is not so much interference. I think the uh, Gilman defender is guilty of pushing the cutting Spalding player right in front of the goal. Here's the look. I think watch. Watch yep. this guy cutting 55. Yeah, yeah he got the, pushed from behind. Yep, you just gotta you just gotta let him move inside. You know, and that's not easy when the ball's behind and you can't <coughs> see the ball. That's why you have to listen to your goalkeeper. He'll tell you where the ball is. When you're in tight to the crease, you can't afford to look for the ball. Listen to where it is and adjust your position. All right, here we go. Cavaliers man up. Nice look to the backside. Just couldn't connect. Oh, big time ground ball that time. That's Brooks Ketchell. You know, Brooks Ketchell, this is only his second season of playing lacrosse. He's a senior. He tore his ACL in his freshman and sophomore years, and here he is back playing. That's great to see. He's a captain. He's going to Bowdoin to play for Bill Mason. Good switch. Hopper getting on Rogers. Oh, an outside shot and just wide. Backed up again, our man. Brock La Rochelle, the fourth time today he's beaten Gilman to the end line off a of Gilman shot. Just a beautiful heads up play by him. He has done it all day. Smart player, good looking athlete. Headed to the Naval Academy, wants to be a SEAL. Well, I can see that happening. He's got a brother that's a SEAL. All right, successful clear now by the Cavaliers. A little over 7.30 left in the third. 4-3 Gilman. Good ball movement. Gordon Bennett. Mason Plessinger. 30 seconds left on the shot clock. Showing some good patience here. 
Nice right to left. Moving the shot. <laughs> 16 on the shot clock. Plenty of time. Just under seven left in the third period. Gilman, Gilman fans trying to count it down before it's really over. Might have been successful there. Four seconds left on the shot clocks. Spalding will sub out their offensive players, put in their defensive midfield. Dump it in the quarter. Nice job by the Gilman defense. Yeah, they've been uh, buttoning in the whole game. Other than maybe a one extra man, Spalding's having, str they're struggling here on the extra man. They've had a couple opportunities, unsuccessful. Again, you must have the ball in your offensive half of the field when the clock hits 60. We're at 65. Off oh, sides. they're off sides. <laughs> Quick whistle to, for the counter attack. Let's see if Spalding can come back with something. They got numbers. This could be dangerous, you know, double teaming the ball. If you get it, that's great, but a lot of times you lose position and it turns into an easy goal for the other team. Not that time, nice job by the Greyhounds. 5.48 left in the third, 4-3 Gilman. Up just under 50 on the shot clock. Spalding goes to work on offense. This is Wolf. Good ball movement. Wilbur out front, tries to dish it inside. That's a tough pass. Can't jam it in there, but they're gonna keep possession. 26-25 on the shot clock. Pass it, boy, he's quick. Oh, he's got his eyes up. There's a nice look inside and another big save by Zachary Parks. No break coming back. They may push it though. No, nope, they'll decide to settle. Even when settling, there's an outside shot. Oh, and a big save that time. Again, that was Newman handled that tough three-quarter bouncer. Right for on the new shot clock. It got a piece of it. Wilkerson. Kind of forcing a little bit. Kirchner, there's a shot. What a beautiful save by Newman. They got numbers coming back. This is Hopper. Great handle on the over the shoulder. Let's see. Oh, looks for the skip. And one more. Nice job by the Gilman defense. Thwarting that four on three fast break. I think Hopper had the easy pass, though. He tried to skip it. You know, keep it simple. Every play is a big play. Every play is a big play. Oh, they're going to call a slash on that. Slow whistle. Gordon Bennett again. Drew the flag. All right, this is a free possession now. Looks like it's going to be a call. One minute penalty on a slash. Let's see how the Cavaliers handle it. Mollet. That kills the play in the crease. Again, that was Bennett. A bit of a slash. And again, you know, I, I've always believed, that, you know, when you take one hand off your stick, good things do not happen. Warding off, holding. Um, you know, you just got to play with two hands on your stick whenever possible. One thing the Gilman defense has done is a phenomenal job around the crease area. Obviously, the most, dan the most dangerous place on a field on the offensive end for somebody, you know, free on the crease. Gilman's done a great job crashing in on the crease and not giving anybody a good opportunity. All right, here's a chance for Spalding's man up to bring, in, uh, bring the score tied. They need to put something together here with the man up. 
shot wide. 38 seconds left in the penalty. I think Spalding's wishing here a little bit on this extra man. Just keep running your sets. Be patient. You got an extra man. Nice stick by number 15 for Gilman. They're looking to that inside man. That's a good look. You can't telegraph it. Oh, there's that skip. Oh, just wide. What a save. Number 16, Jack, Jack Newell, Newell for Spalding. He had more time there. He rushed that. He was yeah, he wide did. open. He could have taken his time and just dunked that ball around goaltender, but Parks was there. Give him some credit. Parks has had an outstanding game, as has Newman. Toughest position in the sport, goalkeeper. These two have shown today. Good job by Gilman staying on side. Successful clear. Under 60 in the shot clock. 2.10 left in the third period. 4-3 for the host Greyhounds. Well, Gilman has relied solely on their first midfield on the offensive end. Myers, Rogers, and Graham. Got great balance. Three lefties, three righties on offense. There's a shot. Oh, just wide. That was Graham. He's a junior. <laughs> Gilman player was standing on the end line to make sure La Rochelle didn't beat him to it. Well, that's an adjustment they've got to make. Good inside roll and a shot and a score. That was Clayton Badley. Gives Gilman a two goal lead with 136 left. Badley does a great job absorbing this check. Inside rolls. Gilman takes a two goal lead with just a minute 36 left in the third quarter. We'll be back. Good action here in Roland Park. Toyota is going all wheels in with fantastic deals on thousands of in-stock Toyotas ready for delivery. So visit your local dealer today for a great selection of front, four, and all-wheel drive vehicles. Right now, get low 4.75% APR on a sporty Camry or stylish Corolla. Get fantastic deals when you go all wheels in on your new Toyota. Let's go places. We're back. Coach, let's look at that man up play again if we can. Great play by Badley. Gilman attackman number 41. Watch him absorb that check. Leans in a little bit, then gets the inside roll as Brock La Rochelle was guilty of overextending a little bit. Lost his balance. Badly inside rolls him. Dunks it past goaltender Newman. I like that move by Badly. The inside roll for you young attacking. You got to learn that roll. Feel the defender if he's trying to take away upfield. Give him one last big move and then roll. Secret there is don't expose your stick. That time Badley did a real nice job of protecting the stick and he kept it simple. Real quick, we have some out of the town scores. McDonough leading St. Mary's five to two. Boys Latin over John Carroll, 12 to one. Severin against Calvert Hall and Mount St. Joe and St. Paul's. We have not gotten anything from either of those games. All right, here we're facing off. 130 left in the third period. Gilman's built up a two goal lead. Oh, good slide up field. Battle of two Titans with the long sticks there. They're gonna call loose ball push. Referee was right there. Gotta give him five yards on the restart. Here we go, 115 left in the third. Midfielders need to hold their stick up in the air if they're on sides. Makes it a little easier on the referees as they're counting. Just make sure they've got three guys back and the goalie. Right, not just for your teammates, but for the officials. They see that stick up, they know, hey, the guy's back on sides. Communicate verbally and, and with your sticks. You know, communication is key to be successful in a team sport. All right, here we go. 48 seconds left in the shot clock. It's not a factor. 
This is Wilkerson, he takes it in wide. Well, Wilkerson's 0 for about six or seven so far. If he gets some of these blistering shots he releases on the cage, I think he'd have a little bit more to show for it. Maybe take a little off of it, you know. Accuracy is more important than powder. We're 25 seconds left. This is Badley behind the goal, they got him hung. Oh, a good look inside and a score. That was Mike Maloney from Clayton Badley gives Gilman a three goal lead with just over 17 seconds left in the third period. Here it is. Just a very simple hung up behind the goal. Nobody picks up number two. I'm not sure how that can happen. We just saw two nice goals Gilman scored on the crease where Spalding's guilty of giving them up. And at the other end of the field, the Gilman defense has been all over the crease area today. And that's a great point. You know, that's the, that's the position you've got to guard. You've got to have as many numbers in that crease area uh, as you can. And if you, if you, and for, again, young players, if you, don't, if you can't find your man, look to the crease. That's where he is. All right, we're coming to the end of the third period. There's a shot. And that's the end of the third. Gilman six, Archbishop Spalding three. Here's the replay, a little look inside. And there's that back behind, behind the back goal. Inside, beautiful roll, and then here, just guilty of not checking up on the crease. Number two, Gilman, six, Spalding, three. The FCA Lacrosse Ministry is for any coach, athlete, or family of the lacrosse community who loves lacrosse and has an openness or desire to grow in his or her faith. FCA Lacrosse is committed to developing three-dimensional coaches and athletes who want to fulfill the potential physically, mentally, and spiritually. Are you interested in an FCA Lacrosse experience? Get engaged by going to fcalax.com. seat finally sweet sweet redemption the lexus tx three row luxury that treats every seat like the best seat we are crowds lacrosse for over three decades parents have chosen us to help their sons develop a path to becoming college lacrosse players crabs lacrosse is more than a collection of teams we are a family at crabs lacrosse we focus on being three things, always about our players, deliberate in our development, and focused on a positive experience and positive outcomes. Join us at Crabs Lacrosse. We're back, start of the fourth quarter, 6-3 Gilman. Face-off violation that time on Chriswell. Boy, that third quarter was all about Gilman, wasn't it, Coach? Well, Give their defense credit. They throttled four extra man opportunities Spalding had then, and they got a couple goals right at the end of the quarter to stretch that four to three lead to six to three, heading into the fourth. Plenty of time on the shot clock now, 68, 60 seconds, seven seconds, plenty of time to go to work. See Jake Wolf playing some defense now. Spalding looking to play the two-way middies, maybe to help out with their transition offense. There's a shot, and that's wide. That's Griffin Graham. He's got some power, Griffin. He's another football player, played safety, but he's leaned in a couple times. Gets those hands free and isn't afraid to shoot the ball. Legal contact out front. There's the look back. 
Oh, a nice pass and a good dodge. That was James Meyer, the senior, going to WNL, going to play for G. McCabe. Puts Gilman up 7 3. There's those lefties we've talked about a little bit. Good play by Wilkerson, throwing it back. Myers with a little face dodge and a dunk. Love the face dodge for you young players. If the defender's charging at you with a high stick, use the face dodge. Nice job. 7 3, 11 14 left in the game. There's Kim with the draw. See what he does with it here. Gilman should be in no hurry. They got to keep playing hard. They got to stay aggressive. Well, but Gil again, Gilman, you know, sorry, coach, but Gilman has double polled every face off today and it's paid dividends for them. All right, here we go. This is Rogers. Quick slide. That's good play that time on the check. Good play by Graham. Just a little goose to his teammate. Went after that ground ball and got it to open space to Wilkerson. Beautiful. Wilkerson being played by Dunn. Dunn's a good, done a good job on him. Got the goalie coming out to try to clear that crease. For you young defensive players, a loose ball around the crease. Defenseman take the man. Let the goalkeeper play the ball. All right, here we go. Spalding now. Successful clear, they need to go to work on offense. They've been silent here in the second half. Didn't score in the third period. And we're at 10 minutes left in the game. So Spalding needs to find out, find something to get them on the board again on the offensive end. Here we go. Number eight for Gilman, Sebastian Cheney's done a wonderful job. He's been the shorty that is down on the offensive end during these face-offs when they have two poles up. He's, uh. He's they done got a, a very good oh, job. Oh, that's a great one more. And a big save by Zachary Parks. Unbelievable save that time. Plus, Gilman runs it out. Tremendous save by number zero, Zachary Parks. Look at this. Beautiful feed to number 17. And Parks didn't give up on it. Great save. And then Gilman got one of those backups that Spalding has been so effective of all day good successful clear by the greyhounds 9 18 9 17 left in the game 7 3 gilman now they can be patient again you don't want to take the air out of the ball but be patient know that the clock is on your side but still plenty of lacrosse left here shot oh it's gonna be interesting. Oh, that was close. That was a close one. There's number 22 playing for Gilman. First time he's played this year. 22 is Nathan Kotako. Oh, they're gonna call a ward on that. Good call. Oh no, they're gonna call a timeout. Timeout, I thought they called a ward with the free hand. But good timeout by Gilman. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back. Stay with us. Toyota is going all wheels in with fantastic deals on thousands of in-stock Toyotas ready for delivery. So visit your local dealer today for a great selection of vehicles, all with two years of no-cost maintenance included. Right now, get low 3.99% APR on an adventurous RAV4 or spacious Highlander. Get fantastic deals when you go all wheels in on your new Toyota. Let's go places. We're back with the Advanced Radiology upcoming broadcasts. Coach, what do we got here? We got some good games. Well, the Tuesday, it's listing, excuse me, Loyal at St. Mary's. Actually, that's going to be Loyal against McDonough. Then the following Tuesday on the 23rd, McDonough's playing BL, St. Joe, Calvert Hall, Boys Latin, St. Paul's to end the regular season, and then we're into the playoffs. Hard to imagine that in just about five weeks we'll have an MIAA semifinal game from the Naval Academy. Some great lacrosse ahead. Make sure you stay tuned. And again, the semis and the finals to play those games at the United States Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium is something special. 
So hopefully you'll be able to tune in when we'll crown a champion for the MIAA conference title. All right, here we go. 8.38 left in the game, 7-3 Gilman. 21 seconds left on the shot clock. Spalding in the zone. Spalding came out in the zone, coach. And guess what happened? Gilman shot, Spalding backed up the goal. What's that, sixth or seventh time that's happened today? That's something they gotta work on tomorrow in practice, anticipating that shot. You know, sometimes midfielders are caught behind the goal. It doesn't matter what position you are, you have to know where you are on the field and what your responsibilities are. And you're behind the goal, you have to anticipate and back up the shots. All right, 8.07 left in the game. Nice little wrinkle, Spalding threw at Gilman that time. After that timeout, they came out in the zone. Took a shot, not backed up. Spalding's getting another opportunity offensively. He's got to go to work on offense. Mollet behind again. Matassa. Again, Ketchell doing a heck of a job. There's, oh, just couldn't connect on that pass. Good idea. Again, good stick position. Oh, there's a ground ball for you right there. That's Harrison Schlein again. Threw the ball to the wrong man. He tried to make something there. He should have thrown the ball out to the wing, giving it to Wilkerson, who could have thrown it to that guy. Beautiful ground ball, but then, uh, what do they say? What are we doing here? Hold on, Coach. Uh, they, they, a couple balls in play. Yeah, and Spalding tried to get that ball in, in bounds before the uh, referee had blown his whistle. Okay, thanks for helping me out on that one. That's Jameson Kaufman. Spalding's got to go to work. All right, credit Gilman's defense. They've shut him out here in the second half. Seven minutes left in the game. Good look behind. There's a nice cut. Oh, he didn't shoot it. Thought he had his hands free. There's the outside shot. Blocked by that Gilman defense again. Shot clock stays the way it was. Gilman never got uh, possession of the ball. Oh, good one more. Very nice play that time. That was Alec Howard on the back, back side. Jake well, you found him. Real nice teamwork. Great ground ball. Beautiful play. There's another slide to somebody's eyes, and we didn't get Gilman, didn't cover down the backside. Much needed goal for Spalding. Huge play. Boy, that ended that uh, scoreless streak there. So, you know, the beauty of lacrosse is you can make it, take it if your face off men and wings are doing their job. That's Kim again with the face off. He's proving to be the better of the two today. Again, Kim coming in with a 66% face off winning percentage. He's got a number of ground balls today. That's gonna put him in the mid 70s for the season. And there's a shot and a goal. Jay Rogers. Really lightening up out here today. Loves to shoot that left-handed shot from out front. Jay Rogers just coming out of the box. Spalding was a little out of sorts. They really didn't get the matchups that they were looking at, and they forgot number ro number nine, Jay Rogers. Eight to four, Gilman. This is your time, we're here to help you. One thing to train up your skills. And what I'm gonna arm you with today is some tools to perform in that trusting mindset. Welcome back, 558 left in the game. Gilman up 4-8. Coach, you had a thought. 
Well, just uh, again, I've talked a little bit about the quality of Gilman's defense, especially around the crease. All game, they've been brilliant at it. They've gotten their stick on a lot of passes that Spalding has tried to throw through the defense. Shots even that they've knocked down with their sticks. Gilman's been Johnny on the spot and Jay Rogers, his third goal there. He's a big shooter and they're playing today. Jay Wilkerson, their leading scorer, has not have a point in this game and they have a, a four goal lead. Pretty impressive. Well, you know, they've got a lot of firepower we were talking about and um, you know, if one guy can't get it done, if it's not his day, other guys have stepped up for the Greyhounds. Coach loves to see that. Can't depend on any one player. A lot of firepower on, on both these teams, but really today, Gilman's come alive in the second half. All right, here we go. Oh, that's a much needed face-off win by Chriswell. Just couldn't get anything out of it. Boy, you hate to have that opportunity and at least not get a quality shot. Well, you know, you talk a lot about, you want the attack to handle the ball. Criswell did a nice job there. I think if he had pulled that defense a little bit, if he, if he drives a little bit further away from the middle of the field, brings it down the right side, he might have had an easier pass to his point man. Right, yeah, you know, uh, face off guy, I know that you're, you're running down the middle of the field, but in a four on three, you got to form a box, so if you know you're not going to shoot the ball, just veer off a little bit and help set up that uh, that attack. All right, 5:15 left in the game. Hounds up eight to four. He's going again, and there's the outside shot. Jay Rogers, simple but effective, coach. He's a matchup nightmare for you. You look, he looks up, and he's got a shorty. I'd say he's about six one, six two. He's got a shorty on him who's definitely smaller than he is, and he gets that high bouncer. That probably doesn't go on a AstroTurf or artificial surface, but on grass, you never know how it's gonna bounce. I love the grass fields, love them. You know, that time you gotta get into a shooter. You, you can't, you gotta drive with your legs. The arms aren't gonna get it done. Your arms versus a shooter's legs, not gonna happen. All right, here's the fast break. Here comes Kim now, he dishes off, oh! Oh, Gilman's on a tear. Another goal off the four on three fast break. Makes it 10 to four with five minutes left in the game. Beautiful pull by uh, Kim down here. Look, he drags a little bit further to the right. There's a, your box you're talking about over the shoulder. Bad approach, beautiful fast break goal. Gilman, 10, Spalding, 4. Toyota is going all wheels in with fantastic deals on thousands of in-stock Toyotas ready for delivery. So visit your local dealer today for a great selection of front, four, and all-wheel drive vehicles. Right now, get low 4.75% APR on a sporty Camry or stylish Corolla. Get fantastic deals when you go all wheels in on your new Toyota. Let's go places. All right, we've got the Sheehy Lexus player of the game, Coach. Who we got? Number nine, Jay Rogers. Four goals on the afternoon. This is number three. Two in the first half and now two in the second half. This is his beautiful behind the back goal in the second quarter. He's had some game. He's a load. Just a real solid, fundamentally sound player. Look at that overhand shot, high to low. Tough for any goalkeeper. And then this, he just got his body in and just overpowered the defender that time. Well-deserved for the Sheehy Lexus player of the game. Congratulations to Jay Rogers, the junior. He'll be headed to Hopkins, playing for Coach Milliman. Good ground ball. Again, if it's it's a three-on-three -three game with that face off and the wings have just done a terrific job of picking up the loose ball. 
Oh, it's all, it's all working now for the Greyhounds. That's good legal hit, good legal hit. Here comes Hopper, he's dangerous in transition. Good look inside. Nice job that time by Parks coming out and challenging that pass and picked up again by the Greyhound. Back, end to end action. We got a three on two coming in. Oh, Wilkerson on the doorstep. Saved by Newman. Oh, good solid hit. Spalding's got to take it to the rack. No time to set up. You got to push the action. Just wide. 3.52 left in the game. 57 on the shot clock. Matassi's had a heck of a game. And there's a shot, another save. Zachary Parks has been outstanding between the pipes for Gilman today, just outstanding. Parks has been great. I think Newman's had a nice game. His defense has let him down a couple times. That save Newman just made on that fast break on Wilkerson on the doorstep was just fantastic. Sometimes wonder why these young guys decide to play goalie coach Zimmerman. Everybody, the shooters are so talented. They are. The it's ball's so, coming so fast. But it's the key position in the game of lacrosse. A little force inside. They're going to let them play. Nice job that time. Kataka just getting his first runs of the year. I tell you, Nathan Quato has played a nice second half. Oh, Wilkerson now pushing a little bit. Hadn't been his day. Well, if you're a Gilman man, <laughs> faithful, and on the Gilman team when your leading scorer has nothing to show for anything today, no assists, no goals to show for it, and you got a six goal lead, you gotta be awful encouraged. And look, Wilkerson, he's a good player, and he'll have better days for sure. But like you said, you know, it's next man up. If uh, one of your stars isn't getting it done, you know, you got plenty of other people out there that can pick up the slack. So here we go, 2.24 left. That ends the shot clock. Good clear. Right. If you're Spalding right now, you just want to finish strong. It's not been your day. You ran into a good, tough Gilman team on their home field, but finish strong. Another great save. Okay, Zachary Parks, he has been just a wall in the goal. And the defense in front of Zachary has also had a great game for Gilman. They're going to give him the full 80. Just under two minutes left. Connor Wilbur with the ball. Out to Bennett. Good ball movement. There's a shot and another save. Zachary Parks, if we gave out two MVPs, he would certainly be one of them. Just been outstanding in the cage. One thirty left in the game. See if Gilman takes the air of the ball, goes into a freeze. No need to shoot the ball. This is where his coach, you don't need another goal. Let your, let your teams work on, you know, holding the ball, freezing the ball. You might need it somewhere down the line. The goal doesn't do you any good. This is where Gilman now just starts to practice some things. And this would be one of the situations. Freeze the ball. Well, I've got to be careful here. 
Gilman doing a very nice job icing the game. Showing a lot of discipline. There's a look inside and a score. Mike Maloney from Jay Wilkerson. Well, he must have heard us up in the booth talking about his lack of production today. Beautiful feed, nice cut by Mahoney. Let's see what this penalty. I think they, uh, it was a. Probably a technical foul and yeah. the goal wipes it out. Yeah, they're all even. All even, 41 seconds left. Shot clock's not a factor. Boy, hats off to Gilman today. They have just been super in the second half, scoring eight goals to Spalding's one. And again, that's not just your offense coming, uh, coming to life. Your defense playing solid. All right, want to keep your composure here. Everybody keep their composure. The brick wall just made another save. He's had some game. Well, I think this game turned in the third quarter when Spalding had four extra man opportunities, had nothing to show for it. Gilman bagged a couple goals to take that 6-3 lead going into the fourth quarter. It's been all the Greyhounds here in the fourth. All right, timeout called by Spalding. You know, this is where you just get them together and say, hey, look, you know, this, this wasn't our day. Uh, we didn't play our best. Give Gilman credit and, uh, and finish strong. We'll be back. Let's go to the standings here, Coach. Well, McDonough and Boys Latin are uh, both undefeated at the present. It looks like they're both coming away with victories today. Gilman goes to 2-0. and They had a bye to open the season, so they have one game in hand. Spalding will fall to 1-2. and two. Uh, We do not have the St. Paul's, Calvert Hall, Loyola scores right now. Uh, actually, Loyola um, has a bye today, excuse me. All right, here we go. 25 seconds left. Let's see if uh, Spalding can get that man up, get a goal here to, to finish strong. Running the same carry look. And there's the outside shot. Just wide, 14 seconds left. We're under 10, uh, threw it away. That's a tough play, that's what. Joey Matassa, he's really giving it a, a good effort today. You hate to end on that note. But again, this is a good team. They're young. They'll be back. All right, this is a learning experience for them. Wonderful game by the Gilman defense. Wonderful game, exactly. A couple of really timely plays at the offensive end. Some great ground ball scraps off the midline. Gilman using two poles on the wings. Once those balls became 50-50, you know, those guys with their poles out there in the middle of the scrum, they have a big advantage. Big second half for the Greyhounds. Big second half. Eight to one in, in goals, but again, offense and, and defense. So, um, you know, congratulations to the Greyhounds. Again, there'll be a, another day, another chance to play for Spalding. And I'm uh, sure they're disappointed, but they'll grow from this. And now Gilman's on a, a nice little roll and, and scoring a bunch of goals. And uh, just a, a real good effort by the home team, Greyhounds, here on the campus of Gilman School. Well, Coach, we got next week coming up. But, uh, again, a pleasure working with you and, and calling this game. And congratulations to the, the, uh, the Greyhounds. Next broadcast, Loyola Blakefield at McDonough, Friday, April 19th. 415, one of our few Friday night games. Thanks for tuning in to this week's Kelly Benefits MIA Game of the Week. Our next broadcast, as we said, is next Friday.
For Bob Schreiber, I'm Don Zimmerman. Thanks for watching once again today's final 11 to 4 Gilman. Have a great night. The 2024 MIAA Lacrosse Game of the Week is presented by Kelly Benefits, title sponsor of the 2024 MIAA Lacrosse Game of the Week. Sheehy Lexus of Annapolis, your Baltimore Annapolis Lexus dealers. CFG Bank, revolutionizing the banking experience. Advanced Radiology, trusted by more doctors, preferred by more patients. Toyota, let's go places. Five Star, connecting creators, athletes, and the best sports highlights. And Crabs Lacrosse, locally grown, nationally known.